If you recently moved to Windows 11 and now your applications that you used on Windows 10 are not working on your new computer, I'm gonna show you quickly how to use the built-in tools on Windows 11 to get those applications working again. Follow along with me as I show you how to do that on screen. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the Windows key plus I key. The Windows key plus I key opens up our settings. And now from here, we can choose apps and installed apps. And this is where the magic happens. You'll see a long list of all your installed apps that are on the computer. Now, what we wanna do is find the one that we're having trouble with, click the three dots at the end of it and choose advanced options. Now, once we get in here, we can do all sorts of magic and we can cause a lot of damage too. So we need to be careful. Now, the first option that we're going to look for once we get inside of here is the repair option. OK, this one's pretty safe. Repair tries to fix the app without touching any of the data, which means always try this one first because it's not going to affect much. We hit the option to repair. We wait until the check mark and it tells us that it's repaired. Now we go test the application and see if it's working. Now, if that didn't work, we're going to proceed to the next step. The next option is a reset. OK, now, how is a reset different from a reinstall or an uninstall and restall? Well, it's because it stays on the system. You don't have to go through all the trouble going and trying to find the online download or exe setup file to be able to get it reinstalled. However, this method will affect the data. So if there's data, there's a good chance that some of it's going to get wiped out. So let's say you had like an application you signed into it already knew you were signed in and you didn't have to sign in every time. If you reset, there's a good chance that when you go back, the stored information is not going to be there. You're going to have to sign in again. OK, now it's important to note not every application supports this reset and repair option. OK, you're going to have some applications that just flat don't have the option. In that case, it's best to come in here and just go ahead and uninstall the app. If we go back to the previous menu, go to the installed apps list where we found the app at. Click the three dots. We can uninstall, go online, find the package to reinstall it and reinstall the application. Sometimes we get stuck having to do that. OK, but for that fast fix, the built in repair and reset is going to be your best friend. Thanks, everyone, for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like and subscribe down below so you can see me on the next one.